Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the character creator tree to create any type of the 3D avatar, any type of the 3D character, and export as FBX file, which include the full rigs and skeletons, and also include the facial, shape key, and more. The FBX file is a universal file which you can use in any 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you have to get the character creator tree. So you, you can scroll down, go to my video descriptions, where to get the character creator tree pipeline, and also the skin gems and the headshot plugins. So by basic, just to get the character creator tree is well enough for you to create any avatars and export as FBX file. And now I'm going to give you a demo step by step at here. So if this is the first time you open a character creator tree, in order to create any avatar, first you you have to click click modify at the menu, load neutral base, and CC3 plus. This is the first step and replace all, click OK. We want a, a whole new, fresh, neutral base of CC3 avatar. And then you can shape on that to be whatever body shape that you want him to be and any of the face shape. Alright, now this is the neutral base and now you can start to create your face. First you create your face. Let's say if I want to create a female, just to click here, the morph is under the head, under the full head. You have so many types of, of the face that you can choose from here. For example, if I want to have a female face, Let's say CC3 plus neutral female. It will change the face immediately. Let's have a look. You shape it until you you satisfy with the face. And actually, un under the face, under the head, you you still have so many variables that you can adjust it. Even the eyes shape the year scale, etc. You can change it. So, still have many variables for you to explore, but as demo, I will just make it as simple as possible. Next is the body shape. Body shape should be under the full body. And now I want to give, a, for example, CC3 plus neutral female. If you feel that CC1 base female, or you want him to have a male body shape, it is okay, this is a male body shape. So now as demo, I will just use a, a really simple body shape of a female body shape. Next, I will give a cloth immediately. The underwear, just to double click. Alright, I better give a proper a proper one. Should be at here. Okay, so now I I don't want this. I delete. Just give a bra first. And next I'm going to give an underwear. Next, I'm going to give a shirt. A shirt I can find from here. There are a lot of shirts, in different folders like essential clothing, etc. Or I bag. I just to give a simple one.
Next, I'm going to give a pen. The pen should be at here. Under the essential clothing, there are still a lot of pens, and now I will just give a simple one. For example, a short jean. And next, I want to give a shoes, it should be under here, the shoes. What type of the shoes that I'm going to give? Under essential clothing, you also have a lot of options to give a shoes. But right now, as demo, I will just give a simple shoes from here. The high heel D. Alright, next, I want to give a hairstyle. The hairstyle should be at here. So, I click the hair, legacy. Here, I have a lot of different hairstyle that I can give. The conforming hair, divine troop, a lot. Hottest hairstyle. Hair, the legacy. So everything I will choose from here, the elements, the accessory, there are a lot. So I will just give a random hairstyle here as demo, and later I'm going to show you how to export it out. Just wait for a while. Now it is loading the hairstyle and it is going to put on the, the head of the avatar that you created. Okay, next. Now the avatar is almost completed. Next, I want to give, give a makeup. The makeup is at here. There are so many different makeups here. The daily makeup. Okay. I choose the charming. Just double click and it will automatically apply. That will be the face texture. Apply on the face texture. Alright, now it already applied the makeup and now it, it unseen all the clothing and what you need to do is deactivate the, the editor is at here, deactivate it and everything will be big as the facial texture and this is what we call the skin gener the skin gens then you still can adjust a lot of variables at here it is up to you but as, a, as an animator and game developer I will keep everything as simple as possible. Now, baking texture process to render. All right, now this avatar is ready. And it is ready to export it out. Now, this is the final step. I'm going to export this avatar as FBX file. As demo, I will export it on my desktop. So, file, export as FBX file. Clove character. And at this time, 
I reduce the current post. That is the T post. So the target two sets, now you want to export it as FBX, but in which software that you are going to import. For example, if I, I'm working on a project, Autodesk Maya, I may choose the Maya. It is up to you actually. The FBX file is universal for almost all 3D software. Sometimes it, the only difference is the axis, the direction of the axis. But it doesn't matter as long as you export as Maya, it is quite cool for any other 3D software. And this time, just click export. As demo, I will export on my desktop. This one should be girl. Demo 01. Save. Save as FBX file. Exported as FBX file. Now you can see, this is the FBX file that exported where you can use it in any other 3D software like Autodesk Maya, iClone, whatever 3D software like 3ds Max or Unreal Engine, Unity All the 3D software are universal for FBX file imports So now, at the same time, I will save this as a CC3 character creator 3 project file save project as I will save this as backup and next time I still can do some modification at here so I will name it girl demo 01 as well but this time is the CC project this is a project file once you save it then you can close it and next time you can continue to load this file alright so now we are going to have a test that's on that file. Okay, for this time, I, I'm going to use the Autodesk Maya. Just have a test on the FBX file. Of course, if you double click the FBX file, it will automatically open by using the Windows 10's default 3D viewer. But the 3D viewer is too simple, sometimes it cannot load the very complicated FBX bar for 3D animation and game developing. But so far Autodesk Maya is a very powerful software. For this time, I just want to test the FBX file that created by using the character creator tree. So this time, to import the FBX file into Maya, I just drag in and release my mouse. Now it is importing and later let us have a look. It is reading the file and importing the file up to a few steps here. Have to wait for a while until it finish loaded. Alright now Let's have a look. This is a CC3 avatar where I want to view the texture and let's have a look. I click on the texture. Now you can see this is a 3D avatar where it is quite quite easy. And now, now it is fully rigged and have the certain skeleton. If I view in that way, the wireframe. You can see this is a full skeleton where it is animation ready because the whole 3D models is a complete 3D avatar where you can use it to perform any of the motion and 3D animations or use it in your game etc like in your Unreal Engine or Unity. It is quite awesome. All right. That's all for today about how to use the character creator tree to create any type of the avatar and 
export it as FBX file for any other 3D software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, game developing, and 3D modeling, welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate all the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.